Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Friday the 3rd of May. Not starting out so sunny today. I think it's supposed to be nice. But you wanna know something crazy? Next week, all of next week will be high 70s and it'll end off in the mid 80s. This is early May. It's still full on rain season in the Northwest in May. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, we're gonna bust out ourselves a Friday. Well, little woman? Yes, little man. It's Friday. Thank goodness. It's the end of the work week. And the weekend's gonna start here directly. Very Looks cool. like it's clearing off. Yeah. It's gonna be a nice yeah. day. All right, I'm gonna roll on down. All right, try to get set that water. All right, love to see you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. So this, I've ridden you guys on this thing, I think, probably several times over the years. But uh, you guys know La Monster from La Monster's Garage. This is uh, from his his family. I think I think this might have been the one his wife was riding at some point. But the kind folks that own it now drove out out there and uh, picked it up from him several years ago now, I believe. But anyway, just taking it for the for the after servicing test ride. Yeah, buddy. Decidedly nice out here. But uh, the gentleman that owns this now uh, is also going on that three month tour. I'm telling you what, just the thoughts of, of doing that, just very appealing to me. You know, it's funny when you go on road trips, how that becomes a part of your life, your daily ritual, you know? And then when the trip is over, you come back you know, in the first morning you wake up at home, your mind's thinking, you know, about, you know, getting your gear together and how many miles we're we running today, what's our destination today, what's the weather gonna be like, you know, on the journey that you'll be taking that day. Where are you gonna stay if you don't already have reservations? Man, when I travel, I, uh, I mean, like, if the ultimate destination, I usually, uh, obviously that sorted out. But in between, I love just winging it. You might find yourself in a little park somewhere, you know, putting up your tent or rolling your sleeping bag out or something, you know. I hate when your vacation is like overly organized. On this day, we're leaving at 10 a.m. Our destination is this. That's not a vacation. That's just the. That's just another set of work orders in your in your box. This has got to be done by this time. That's got to be done by this time. That ain't vacation. I like that unorganized letter fly. Whatever happens, happens. If I make it to the initial, sometimes your destination changes. Well, because you don't have everything all ironclad, planned out, and reservations made, you can just go throw that out and just start a new destination. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Cool. That's where I'm up there. What's that? I said spark it wherever up there. Leave the key in and I'll pull it out. All right. You guys remember <clears throat> last time I rode he had that crazy loud exhaust on it and uh he found the stock exhaust and made her uh, way more pleasing to ride anyway thanks for coming along for a rip on an f3s that's kitted out nicely for uh for two oh, I just knocked this little CDC thing off it's kitted out nicely for a uh, 
for those long hauls. Those cool Corbin color match bags. Shield. Looks like some uh, homemade floorboards, but looks like it's working. Heck yeah. Good old spiders. All right, rolling. This is a 149th RT ever built. How do you like that? So the guy traded in on a new spider. And uh, my son did the uh, used vehicle inspection on it. And uh, I did the laser alignment on it. And I'm uh, taking her for a test grip after doing the alignment and after he did all his stuffity stuff stuff. Oh, she's like low on fuel too. How come I don't have a fuel light? But at any rate, I decided I'd take you guys along for the ride. Matt's in perfect shape. It's got 21,000 949 on it at the moment which is low miles for a spider <laughs> it's just absolutely straight as an arrow it's weird that's when they had the black black dashes this one's the uh, back in the day um, it was the RT um, a and C, which stood for audio and convenience package. That's the only way we ordered them. But I guess you could order them just a regular RT, nothing else. And uh, they uh, they didn't even have a radio in them. So I think the audio and convenience that came with the radio, the uh, digital fuel and temp gauge. If you disconnect or remove those, you get a digital display that runs along the sides. Which back then, because the fuel gauges were kind of weird and not very accurate, <laughs> most people just uh, you just pull that cluster off and unplug them. And as soon as the uh, system uh, sees that the uh, analog ga gauges are missing, they uh, it goes to LCD. It's like a random place in somebody's house to have a forklift, huh? Man, is it nice out here. This old gal just purrs like a top. I've got them old, uh, the old brakes, you hear the, uh, the disc holes when you apply the brakes. <laughs> so I don't know what they, what they picked up. Probably another RT. Most people do. But, uh, I'm sure they'll have a good price on this and somebody else will come along and enjoy the new new ventures of a silver RT AC kind of quiet out here for a Friday isn't it you see I see way more cars what time is it anyway I don't even know that says 315 good lord it can't be 315 is it really that late today holy moly kids around here. Yeah, just keep her down to a low roll. Look how all this is starting to turn beautiful. Well, I tell you, this little area sure is epic in the fall. Not that I want fall to come by anytime soon, but nonetheless. Yep, she's uncovered. He must be out there enjoying his gold wing. one low seat in that thing that little 
minivan thingy or whatever little utility vehicle. Well, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's been, for the most part, kind of chill today. Just been down there doing my thing thing. It's been uh, pretty much all BMWs up until now. Sometimes it's Beamer Day, sometimes it's Spider Day. Ooh. It is nice to be able to just like break away, away from work and take a quick little test ride. Those are the times I don't mind at all. Just bring them all on. Why don't we do something different? We'll just... uh. We'll go straight, go past the Toyota place and roll back up from which we came. Man, I woke up this morning, just the happiest feeling, thinking, man, I'm so glad I switched that helmet. And the uh, you know the the class thing you know when, once I rode around that wasn't that wasn't that bad of a deal. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that ratcheting class. You know when I was downstairs and I'm trying the thing on and you know it feels all bulgy and I'm thinking uh you know, I don't know I'm not gonna like this but you know in practice once you're actually suit up ready to ride I didn't even notice it down there. Only when it, you bend straight down does it kind of push into your Adam's apple area. But, you know, you're not, it's not like you're going to fall asleep and have your head all bobbed over, you know. It's just going to be casual looks. And the uh, double shield thing, I mean, it, that, that all seems to work really well. So, but, I mean, the quietness of it. Of course, taking you on that Schwarzer, that's a hard hard test and the mic was just kind of dangling out there in the open so it was probably god only knows what what noise it was picking up from where that's not how i normally saw i just shoved it in there and it was not even in a cheek pad it was just dangling in the breeze <laughs> i wanted to go for a ride clyde when i snuck one in that was fun Thank you guys for coming along with the chesty mount uh, 48 ride. I almost called it Iron 883. It took me a second to like wash that out of my head. <laughs> but that uh, GoPro Seeker backpack has a chesty kit that clips in. I don't know if they want it up here or not. But you're about to get it. How about a wonderful, like new? It's hard to believe this thing's nine years old. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. All right, I'm about. So we've left work mm -hmm. and found ourselves crawling down I-5 but at the woodland exit here because of something going down. There is an issue. Full on yeah. semi truck oh, done ran himself off the road. Oh, with in the trees. Wow, that's not pretty. Yeah, I hope so. Ooh, yeah, I that, that's that scary. Camera. Another one of these irritating people right there. You notice the gas pump on that side of that truck? That's because he's using the gas pump area as a parking spot. Because they don't want to park anywhere, they just want to drive right up front. That is literally the most irritating thing. Then they'll go in there to be gone forever. People are lined up trying to get gas. They got this D bag over here that's using it. That's a parking spot. 
crazy, crazy people. But on a good note, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Like 67, 68 degrees. Sunset is at 821. Holy moly. Three minutes longer than it is in Vancouver. That's crazy. Vancouver is three or 818. We're 821. Yeah, buddy. Well, hello there, YouTube. There's the money. That is a wheelie. That is the sound of a wheelie. Yeah, he's that going ride, down the ride, street. Ride. What they don't know is just a little bit down that straight is a Washington a State Patrol officer. Oh, yeah, State Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> and as my kid can attest, he will come out of his house and come chase you down. Yes, he will. And all of a sudden, the police were all out here one day, and Kelly goes, it's a bunch of police officers out in the driveway talking to Ryan and his friend. <laughs> it was <laughs> never good when the police show up. Yeah, especially what provoked the whole thing was is something they did passing, it involved passing his wife. Not good. Yeah, yeah that was not, it was not good. No. We had the Toledo Police, Lewis County Sheriff, and that State Patrol officer. It was, it was bad news. <laughs> but he got away with a warning and no ticket, so. Yeah. But uh, anyway, one, one thing I want to throw in, uh, the helmet, I... Well, if I said something weird and it sounded weird, I am not going to modify the helmet to put that GoPro mount on there. That's just cheap plastic, that GoPro mount. I will grind that mount yeah. just like I did on the climb helmet to make it fit the helmet. Never modify your helmet. Never no, drill a hole in it. safe. No modification on a helmet ever. Don't ever do that. No. You can stick something to it and stick something in it. Don't be cutting no holes, carving on it, nothing. Because yeah. uh, there's a lot of science that goes into a helmet. So yeah, you have to protect yourself. Don't be modifying your helmet. So no, no I'm just gonna carve mounts. up that cheap little mount. So but anyway, thanks for coming along for the ride or rides. I did so many, I don't know how much I'll use. So right. we'll figure it all out. Sounds good. So that's all you got. That's Paul? it. Let's call it all weekend. right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. Sorry about the notification. I forgot to uh, put the phone in an airplane mode. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> extra. Wah. Yeah, and I go, oh, sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>